Don't be those people who are in the line holding everybody up. I don't know what we were thinking in our first two years of traveling. It is seriously a game changer. So, if you're anything like us, when you book your flights, you might be looking for something that's relatively cheap. Maybe you're using points and it usually works out pretty good. But the only thing is, it might be a really long flight with really long layovers and you're gonna have a heck of a travel day. So today we're gonna be talking about tips to survive your travel day. <laughs> Tip number one is to get a lounge pass. So I don't know what we were thinking in our first few years of traveling, even before we had this YouTube channel, but we've never used a lounge until our new credit card had free lounge passes included. And it is seriously a game changer. We always thought it was just gonna be too expensive. And I thought it was for like rich people. Totally. Like really it, fancy it business. really people. is not. Yeah, it really isn't. Often, well, first off, a lot of credit cards actually cover it, so make sure you check on your own credit card if they have lounge passes. But we didn't realize that you can actually just go and pay to use a lounge if you don't have a credit card for a lot of different places. And often it's like 35 to $50, which if you've ever bought any airport food, you know that airport food, a meal costs at least $20 to begin with. And these lounges have places to sleep, they got unlimited food, coffee, like actually nice yeah. chairs to sit in, showers sometimes. We've had many a nap in the lounge. Oh, it is amazing. <laughs> so if you have a long layover for at least a couple hours, I would definitely recommend checking out a lounge and just living the life of luxury for a few hours. That's right. <laughs> and for reference, we use the Scotiabank Passport Visa card and that already has Priority Pass built into it. So mm -hmm. if you just get a credit card, you get lots of perks and that's the one that we use for that. Our next tip is to pack long socks and a sweater. Now, even if you're going to a hot country like Mexico or Costa Rica or something like that, you're probably not gonna be bringing a lot of sweaters and long socks, mm -hmm. but if you're going to an airport, airports are flipping cold. Like, I, I don't know like, what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I feel like there's nowhere that's colder than trying to sleep totally. on an airport floor. Totally, it's so if you're trying to pack light, I understand, but just bring a sweater at least and some long socks so you can have a nice, comfortable weight at the airport. <laughs> and make sure those things end up in your carry-on or your personal yes. item, not in your checked that's bag, right. because otherwise you'll just be bringing them for no reason, so. Number three is to make sure you download some TV shows or some movies. If you've been traveling a lot recently, this maybe is an obvious one for you, but I know that when we used to travel, there used to always be the TVs automatically on the back of every seat that you got to watch movies, but that is not always a thing anymore. Often you need to have the app on your phone to watch a movie, or you just need to have downloaded things on Netflix already for yourself. Yeah. So just make sure to do that. It's really nice when you're waiting at the airport to be able to watch a movie, totally. but also on the planes. And that's something that we didn't really always think about. That's right. It's always nice to have something to pass the time because yeah. sometimes you're in the airport and taking flights for over 24 hours and you need to watch at least one movie. Or like three. <laughs> or like three. <laughs> and our fourth tip for a good travel day is to bring a lot of snacks and gum. We always bring in just a little bit of food for ourselves so we don't have to be buying things from the concession stands or from the little like kiosks or whatever and you're paying like five to ten dollars for a pack mm -hmm. of Skittles. We just bring our stuff from home and it's not a big deal. You can go through security, you can bring that stuff along. Mm -hmm. The other thing we bring is gum. Gum is really nice because uh, a, it kind of keeps you awake if you if you need to be awake for, <laughs> for long periods of time. And it also helps with equalizing when you're on the plane. So it helps your ears helps pop. Helps your ears so pop. It doesn't hurt as and much. yeah, it's a nice little trick. Tip number five that we recommend is to put your documents in a very accessible place. We always have all of our paper documents in a folder, but we used to always put it like way at the back of the backpack. Yeah. And for some reason, when you go through the airport, <laughs> you have to show those documents yeah. like 99 times, I swear. It's like every two seconds, like, can I have all your documents? So our main thing that we do now is we just make sure that that folder is in a really easy to access place so you can grab it out. It's all in one spot. Maybe your passport is in a different spot, but all of your other papers are just in one folder in a very easy to access spot and you don't assume that you won't need them again until you're actually just on the, on the flight. flight. <laughs> <laughs> don't be those people who are in the line holding everybody up yeah. and not having your documents ready. Digging that through is everything. super annoying. <laughs> just be, please be just at least considerate for other people and just have your stuff ready. <laughs> and as usual, please comment below if you have more tips for us and for other travelers. Uh, we think we have a good travel day down pat. But we know that you probably have some other tips for us as well. And there's so, definitely more than five key tips for a good right. travel day. So just throw those below and uh, we'll definitely read them and maybe even pin them for other people. Uh, and finally, 
for the bonus tip. Make sure that you book your first night and a shuttle from the airport. Mm -hmm. uh, this is super important. I know we already mentioned this in this video up here, but it's really nice to be able to get to a new country and just have your stuff booked mm -hmm. and you don't have to stand outside waiting for a taxi or trying to figure out what is best because mm -hmm. sometimes you get outside and there's like 50 people yelling at you and be like, <laughs> you need to go here, you need to go here. It's like, yeah, it's like incredibly and after, stressful. after 20 hours of traveling, that's the last thing you want yeah, to be dealing with. Yeah, you do not with. need that extra stress. Mm -hmm. Just book it beforehand mm -hmm. and you will just have a much more relaxing at least to get to your first stay. It's also so nice if your flight gets delayed or any part of your yeah. travel gets delayed that you just have one contact number yeah. to be able to change your plans with and you're not worried about all of a sudden, oh no, I'm gonna arrive at three <laughs> in the morning and there's actually no taxis available yeah. and now I'm all of a sudden have no option. So yeah. just trust us on this one and just book, <laughs> book something to get to your first place. That's right. You won't regret it. <laughs> Now that you know all the best tips for a great travel day, you're gonna to wanna to know what to do when you actually arrive in a new country. So make sure you watch this video because it's also really awesome. And make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can see a lot more of other travel tips. We'll see you in the next one.